Um, so my presentation is, if you think it's right, do it. Um, so for my presentation, I'll be focusing specifically on one word and one word only, quitting. So if I were to ask all of you what quitting was to you, all of you might have an idea or your own meaning to what quitting is. But everybody has a different meaning of what extent quitting is. According to Google, quitting is to cease from doing something. In simple terms, stop. So I want to start off with the quote. Um, the quote is, you can never fail unless you quit. Um, this is a quote that was very often used by two very known people, Abraham Lincoln and Albert Einstein. These are seven words in one phrase and can be very, very motivating, such as it was to these people. So I want you guys to think. Think of a time in your life where you guys quit. In other words, stop doing something. It could be as simple as you stop doing a hobby you liked, a sport you liked, or it could be as simple as you wanted to try a new class um, for your next year schedule and you start doing it, but you don't enjoy it, any enjoy it anymore. So I want you to think not only of what you guys what you guys stopped doing, but also how you guys felt. So everybody feels differently, um, but some common feelings are feeling having low self-esteem, um, feeling hopeless, alone or lost, or even having a low mood, such as being sad. Now, all of these are common feelings that people feel after they stop doing something they like. So I want to jump into curiosity. So from a very young age, curiosity takes over our bodies and minds. Um, we have a tendency to want to try new foods, new clothing, new trends, new shoes, new, new, new. That is what surrounds us. Um, exploring these new interests allows us to learn about ourselves and not only learn about ourselves but help help build who we are as people. Now, when we explore these new interests, um, we have uh, we not only learn about our likes but our dislikes as well. But a lot of people focus more mostly on our likes because, for example, for me, if I'm going to try something new, uh, my mindset is I hope I like it. But nobody thinks about the dislike that comes with it. Now, the dislike is only reached unless you put the effort into it to even give that interest a new try. So I want you guys to pretend. Pretend you're going to try a new sport, a new hobby, and you're halfway through it and you're putting the effort to try it. But halfway through it, you're like, I don't like it anymore. Should I quit? So on a daily basis, we have a tendency to stay positive. We're surrounded by positivity, quotes, Two very common quotes that are known are never give up or strong people never quit. These two quotes are to serve as motivation to people, inspire them, but instead they could be unmotivating too, as they make quitting look like a bad idea. So they make it seem like the moment you quit a life goal you set for yourself is like you're quitting in life or quitting uh, or failing. So. Instead, I, I believe quitting should be seen as something a strong person would do as it's not something that a person decides from day to night. It's something, it's a process you decide to go through and not a loser. So taking these decisions to try new interests, try new hobbies is hard and it's complicated as it comes with obstacles. The moment you're faced with an obstacle, that's the moment you get tested to see if you're strong enough to go through it. Um, in a study made, um, an article, Five Times You Should Quit a Goal and Walk Away, a psychotherapist, Amy Morin, um, supports this idea by saying, quitting doesn't mean you're a loser. In fact, it often takes incredible strength to walk away from a goal you set for yourself. Okay, so not many know me very well, but um, throughout my life I've tried many hobbies. It goes from playing soccer to teaching and doing dance. Um, trying karate classes, doing chorus in school, and even playing the viola. Now all of these hobbies I've done for many years. I spent years doing them. But as the years went on, 
Um, I kept pushing myself to do it, but it seemed harder as the years went on because I kind of, my dislike towards them started to get stronger. And I didn't find them enjoyable anymore. So there was a study done, and it was written in an article, when to stick to something and when to quit. And it was written by Andre Spitzer. So this research consisted of one study where it was a group of people who um, they were given one task only. It was very boring. It doesn't specify what the task was, but they were supposed to repeatedly do it and do it and do it. Before the, the task started, they were asked if they were persistent or not persistent, meaning would they give up easily or not. Um, so the research concluded that the people who had said previously that they were persistent continued to do the task but continued to gain nothing as they were just doing something boring for people. In the contrary, the people who said they were not persistent quit halfway through it and they learned that it was just boring and they didn't want to keep doing it. So he concludes, no quitting equals continue, continue doing worthless tasks that are both uninteresting and unrewarding, basically wasting time and talent. So he comes to the conclusion that people that kept doing this boring task repeatedly, repeatedly, as they thought it was right to keep doing it, even though they knew themselves that it wasn't enjoyable, they were just wasting their time. So something we could all relate to right now is college. Well, most of us already decided what college we want to go to, how big your school, how small the school, how far away from our hometown, and do we want to commute or do we want to dorm there? These are all common things we have right now. And for example, myself, um, it was very hard for me to choose a college as I didn't want to choose the wrong one. Same with career. Um, a career is something that we're going to pursue for the rest of our lives. And it's a big change as we're going to become more independent now. And um, picking a career for me, and I still haven't, I'm still very undecided because I don't want to choose wrong. And I'm scared to try something new and then halfway through it, have so much of a dislike towards it that I'm going to have want to quit or stop doing it. So this is something that's very common that we're all going through right now. Um, something that um, I want to conclude with is that the moment you decide to quit something or you, nobody knows yourself more than you yourself. So you should know what your limit is and what you like or don't like. So if you decide to quit something that you have put the effort to do, um, do it with confidence, um, and do something that you know you're going to be happy with. And I know quitting isn't something seen normally, so it's feel okay to want to step out of the norms and take this initiative. Um, and there was one saying that Mr. Lago said. He said it once, but it stuck with me since then, which was, it's not about messing up, it's about how you recover. So, um, the moment, if not quitting. Quitting is not always a final decision. There's always ways you can recover from that. Um, if you decide to quit something or step away from a, a task that you wanted to do, know that it's okay to go back to it and give it a second try and pursue with it. Um, so yeah, thank you.